Hi everyone, hi. I hope everyone's doing great. Um, you're having a good week so far. Um, I wish everybody a, uh, a good rest of your week and hopefully things are going well for everyone. Um, coming back on uh, to talk about another topic which is selling and social media skills. So I'm gonna attempt to just share with you a few tips um, regarding how to actually um, build a community around you so that you can build your trust in order for them to know you um, so that they, they can figure out how is it that you can help them solve their problem. Hey Maggie, thank you so much for coming on. I hope you're doing well. Um, and thanks for finding the time to jump on live today. Um, okay, so finding your ideal customer and building a community around that, right? That is ideally the first step. So especially when you first start your business, you want to find out who your ideal customer is. Who is it that you are looking for? Because unless you know who you're looking for, then you're not going to be um, very successful in finding them. Where do they hang out? What are the problems, right? What are the pain points? What are the things that keep them up at night? So really discovering the ideal customer avatar is the first step into clarifying um, your, your marketing strategy or how is it that you would like to approach into finding your ideal customer. Um, and building a community, right? So nowadays, it's um, there's many platforms such as Facebook. This is one of them, right? Building a Facebook community around like-minded people that you might think might be your ideal uh, customer that you can actually help and you can serve. So this is the other way, the the other step. So once you find out your ideal customer, see how you can actually build a community around them, right? And then once you build a community, you want to go in and serve serve um go in share your knowledge share your expertise um uh, find out first right what is it that they are uh, trying to achieve and where are they in their journey because if you're an entrepreneur you could be in a different phase in your journey if you're just beginning it looks very different from when you are uh, further along so build a community around that, whether it's a Facebook group, whether it's uh, your Instagram profile, whether it's LinkedIn, right? So figure out where is it that your um, ideal customer is hanging out and go there. Um, strategize a plan to build trust. Trust, building a personal brand and building a trust with your um, customers, uh, your ideal customers is key. Uh, People only will buy, they don't buy the products, they don't buy the services you have, they buy the, the person that, they, they build trust with you. So they will trust you. So once they trust you, then then you're able to position yourself as that authority. So then you can, they could see how is it that you can help them solve their problem, right? So that is the first thing. Uh, trust is very, very, very important. Um, nowadays, there's also many ways, and I'll tell you a little bit about a new community that I am building. Um, being around a community of like-minded people is absolutely necessary nowadays to nurture relationships because everything is about, um, about building trust and creating these valuable relationships with other human beings. Being part of a community where you have that consistency and that um, room in building those relationships is key towards um, finding more clients or serving more people as you would like. So solving an immediate problem for your community and making a plan to show up consistently are very, very important, right? So um, in order to build trust, we have to be consistent. Just like in every area of our life, if you're building trust with a partner, you have to be consistent, right? You always have to show up for the person that you are and you always have to say, do what you say. And that's how we build trust and integrity. So you wanna be consistent. If you decide that maybe Facebook groups are a way to go and your clients are hanging out there, then you need to be consistent with your lives, with your postings, right? So that is how we build trust. Um, another way to do it is finding other influence 
communities that actually serve your particular customer, right? So tapping into other networks is um, another way that you could do that as well. So finding influencers, um, small size, medium size influencers that serve your community and figure out ways to complement the services is definitely another way that you can get more visibility so that you can build trust, so that you can show your potential customers how is it with your product or service, you can actually solve the problem because that is why we build trust. We build trust so then we can show them that we're able to help them through our product or service offering um, so that they can ultimately solve the problem. So doing that is another way that um, you could uh, you can increase your networking. Um, so your exposure, as I said, is, uh, your exposure, your visibility, showing up. Uh, the more you show up, the more opportunities you will get. I promise you, it's all connected, right? So the more you show up for the people that you're serving, the more opportunities will come your way. Um, and like I said, today is, today this can be done in many different ways. But I would suggest just finding one to two ways that work for you and that your ideal customer is hanging out and then really focusing your time and energy there because you cannot spread yourself too thin by being everywhere because then your focus will be split and your results will be split as well. Um, so like I said, uh, building a community is very, very important nowadays. This is how we want to do business. We want to do business with people we know, like, and trust, and that we can actually nurture those relationships. So um, I have built a um, academy for the Life School, which is the platform where I want to bring together entrepreneurs, uh, where they can um, mastermind together, where they can collaborate together, where they can learn, bring in different experts and different areas of expertise uh, where we can learn and grow together so that we can grow personally and also our businesses. Uh, the Academy is launching soon um, on April 1st. Um, I am uh, putting in a few things together before the launch. Um, so this is for women entrepreneurs that are starting their business or maybe have an idea and would like to start something online. Or um, if you are further along, maybe in the first two years while you're building your business, this would be the community for you because we're also going to have weekly events, which I call them hubs, uh, where you can come in. It will be much different from a networking event. You can come in, share your story, share why you, you, you got into your business and you will share expertise. So people will come in with that end in mind of building relationships and not selling our services or, or products right off the bat. So it'll be a different way of how we are actually used to networking thus far. And of course, it'll be an international community so you can join from anywhere. It will be on Zoom. And then in addition to that, part of the academy, there'll be um, lots of different classes or workshops on starting and building a business. Everything from social media, marketing skills, strategy, branding, um, mindset needed to build a business and all these different things that you would need to actually um, build a sustainable business. Um, so I will be sharing more details about that as I'm exciting as the new launch is coming up um, in the group and also throughout. Um, and I hope that these tips as far as, you know, uh, focusing yourself on building that community and social media um, will be able to um, get you at least started in the right direction. Um, I appreciate those of you that were able to come on. Maggie, thanks so much for jumping on again and uh, hope this was helpful for you. And I we will see each other. Um, so we will do, I will do weekly lives here in the group and also weekly lives into our, my Instagram account. Um, I'll be able next week to share my Instagram link. So feel free to, to follow me there as well. And I will do the same. We can follow each other and help each other build our social media um, with the Instagram following as well. Um, and then you'll be able to come on for more lives on Instagram um, next week. So we will be rotating between the group and also my Instagram. All right, take care, have a good rest of your week.